this is Dalen75 Games, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. I believe this is episode 12. And it seems to me we'll be finishing up chapter, or I guess I should say their episode 3. Yeah. Around every corner. No time left. Things were looking better as we left it. And I'm interested in knowing what Amid and Krista will be like. Krista seems very suspicious of me. Clementine's so cute. <laughs> you interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Let's go up. Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? <laughs> so enthusiastic about everything. <laughs> Shit. What's up? Nothing but the hose it. has a leak in it. Uh, Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Oh, the tape I got earlier. Hope this holds. Crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh. Whoa. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> it'll kill us up here, too. I can't reach it now. Oh. Damn it. It was just about done, too. Crap. Oh, I see. Maybe that forklift to lift it's it up. Too far off the edge. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Uh, I think the walkers are... Maybe it's a good idea if we blow that thing up. Guys! There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck. Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Kenny, go! Shit! What the hell do we do now? Jump on top. Oh, crap. What the god, this works. Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! Come on, man. Guys! Come on! Jump! No! Uh. Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Uh. 
Come on, man. Oh, crap. Go get him. my intention. You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know- <laughs> uh, Baby, it's okay, honey. I'm okay. <sighs> that was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. Maybe I should have pushed We're him. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Stop the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll never get over today. That's all I keep thinking. Try to think about what's ahead of you. That's why I keep thinking it. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What? What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... What the hell? I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. She must have been talking into it for the last few months. Somebody's listening. Well, that's it for this chapter, or sorry, this uh, episode of the game. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! <laughs> Seems a bit messed up. Looks like it would be hard to find Clementine's parents if they're even there. Maybe... Somebody was listening and uh, taking advantage of the situation. And uh, when we get there, he tries to sabotage us. Looks like he maybe traps Lee and or other people in some kind of area we can't get out of. And uh, I was just thinking, if I had pushed Omid off the ledge, he might have hurt himself and then blamed me. At least this way, he's no one to blame but himself. And I was trying to save him because he was the first person 
that came through and that was my instant reaction. The other thought was, if I was to think of it, was that he is injured and needs to be pulled on the train. If I had not done that to him, he might have been killed by the walkers. And the train wasn't going too fast, just at a jogging pace, so I'm sure Krista could have caught up. Sweet, merciful death. Did you shoot the girl in the street? You and 40% of players shot her. Man, there's 60% of players out there. Let her suffer. <laughs> Left behind. Did you abandon Lily? You and 57% of players did not leave her. Standoff. Did you fight Kenny? What? You and 44% of players talked him down. Sounds like it would have gotten really harsh between me and him. A heavy burden. Did you shoot Duck? You and 79% of other players shot him, so that's a very, very common thing. I suppose if, if Duck still survives. I'm not sure what would have happened if I chose, uh, was it Sean back on Herschel's farm? Everything could have been different. A helping hand. Did you help Omid? You and 55% of players helped Omid. So that's it for episode three. I'll let the credits roll here. Okay, so we're going to start The Walking Dead episode 4. I had a glitch there where my mic was turned off for about 20 minutes, so I did get to see what happens um, up to a certain point. Nothing major happened. We're going to replay it. It was a little, little bit of tense, but other than that, there's nothing that really happened. I'll, I'll choose all the same things I chose before. So as I said, uh, my first try, I think it'd be a real big pain in the butt if you had to wait for each episode to come out back when the game was first released, being released. Though it's probably not much different than the Walking Dead TV show, especially when the end of the season comes up and it's a cliffhanger. But they don't really do that in Walking Dead um, at the end of the season. Downtown sunny Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> Somebody always has to be hurt or have a problem. Always has to be some kind of division within the group, doesn't there be? <laughs> doesn't there have to be? <laughs> I guess that's what makes the drama work. 
Let's hope my shooting is up to par again like it was the Can't first time. Can't just hold it? I think she was talking to somebody. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's O'Neal? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. He does, eh? What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? He's smart to hear, to heed what he has to say, but he's the one that rang the damn bell. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? I'd say. It sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! What was he thinking there? That she knew more than she was letting on? Oh, that would hurt. Kitty! A little too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Damn it. Ben! Help her! Sacrifice yourself, Ben. Take one for the team, you coward. Not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Tuck? Ah! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. We gotta train our good our group to use weapons. Small amount of walkers like that shouldn't be too much if we have machetes. And I'll get the door. Knives. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. I don't know, can they smell fresh blood? So I did find us a way in. It's a little weird. Damn. Uh, I was thinking of bashing. able to bust through that. 
thing in a bastion is the windows, but if somebody barred it up so good, I mean, we'd have to fix it up afterwards. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? How's it coming? Find a way in yet? The door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Yeah, even the windows on the top floor are boarded up. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around, see what you can find. Ben. He needs to be told straight. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Hell yeah. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. So, it seems like that guy out there is playing with us. And if he boarded up this house, maybe he wants us to get in. Maybe he's inside. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that point. How's he looking? I'm alright. You're not alright. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood. And God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside, now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Solution lies out in the other part of the yard. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. The shovel is never not useful. So if that dog door required the collar, the dog's obviously dead. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like something was buried here. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. 
Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oh, God, the smell. We've been around walkers, and they're horrified about a dog smell. Now, when I first did this, I was very concerned that the dog would suddenly wake up and bite me. Must have belonged to someone. I really think the infection only affects human beings. It's still disgusting. Can't get it off. Oh. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're? I said I'm fine, okay? I think she's pregnant. That only just really makes sense. I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. Look at Grave. Ugh. Oof. Stinks like hell. I don't know if that would attract walkers. But it's rot rotting stuff, so maybe not. Here it goes. So when I was first was doing this, I was very concerned. I was still the concern that uh, we'd have to put Clementine through there and she would get captured by whoever's stalking us. There goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clementine. Clem, are you okay? Say something! Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell, tell her the truth. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. 
How does he know the boats are even there? Or there's no well, rush. They seem secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. I'm pretty thorough. I'm trying to say... <sighs> Is there anything I can do? Thanks. I got it. Hang out with Chris to know me until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Yeah, I mean, what's with Kenny? First of all, if there are boats there, I'm sure there probably is. I don't think there's any rush to go get them. It's been many months after the zombie apocalypse began. So he's... Yeah, like Ben said, all I can think of is get into a boat. It's not going to make his whole world better, though. All right, guys, I'm going to call the video here. Sorry if you heard my wife telling me something a few minutes ago. I think she's gone to pick up my son at daycare. So uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.